Here we are going to see how to set up a WHMCS. So for the same, first we have to create a database. So navigate to your cPanel, open your MySQL database and create a database there. Now, after successfully creating your database, navigate to your domain folder. Over there, place your whmcs.zip file and extract it. After extracting your file, just open your domain. And when you open your domain, you can see a page that says Welcome to WHMCS. And below that, you can see a link that says Click here to begin. And you have to click on that. Now you can see a wizard is the end user license agreement. You can read if you want, else. You can just click on I agree button and it gives an error message. If you see the same error message, then navigate to your domain folder where you have extracted your uh, WHMCS zip file. Scroll down and then you can see a file named configuration.php.new. So you have to just rename the file by removing the .new. Now, once you have done that, come back to your installation wizard and you can see a green button that says recheck requirements. Just click on it and your error will be removed. Now, you can see a red button that says begin installation and click on that to begin your installation. So here, they are giving a form type structure where you have to put your information that indicates license key where you have to write your license key of the WHMCS. Then it says a uh, port. If you want to change, you can. Then the another field is the username where you have to enter the username of the database you just created a few minutes ago. And the password and the database name of the same database. Now, after successfully completing that step, when you click on next, there will be an administrator account setup. So, for that, you have to give the information which they have asked, such as your first name, your last name, your email address your username, password and the confirm password. This username, password and the confirm password will be the username and password which you will be using while logging into your WHMCS. Now, when you have installed completely, then there's a screen that says a new installation. So, these are the steps which you have to perform in your cPanel.
So first of all, they are saying to delete the install folder from the directory. And then they are saying to secure the writable directories and set up the daily cron job and configure the WHMCS installation. So uh, before going to uh, delete the install folder, first we will copy the link that is given in the third step that is set up the daily cron job. Just copy that link. Now we will follow their first step that is to remove the install folder. Now we will perform the third step. So go to your dashboard of the cPanel and search the Chrome. And there you can see a Chrome jobs. Now move downwards and over there a field is there that says command. Just place that link into the text box. Now move upward. Then you can see the common settings. Just click on it and you can set the settings as per your requirement. And simply click on add new cron job. And your cron job is now successfully created. And now the fourth step is to configure the WHMCS. So click on go to the admin area now. So this is the admin area of your WHMCS. Now you have to log in with your username and password which you have set. And this comes the configuration of WHMCS which you can configure as per your requirement. And after successfully completing your configuration of WHMCS, you can use this WHMCS. So this was the basic installation step. So thank you for watching.